Hello everyone. I wanted to pop in. Um, I just finished rinsing my locks. I just ran my head under the um, shower, took a shower and then just ran my head under the water. I didn't use the rosemary rinse or anything, just total, just water. But what I wanted to pop in and say, well this is what it looks like. Clean. More lux. You still see a little bit of water on them. But what I wanted to stop in and say is I had um I had a couple of people ask me questions regarding styles. They said, um, and it wasn't, you know, anything insulting, but they were basically saying that I noticed that you don't do too many styles. Um, is it that, I'm not quoting, this isn't the question, but it was like, do you not know that many or, but what I responded back with was that I am limited. Whereas if I had all of my locks as single locks, like each lock was its own, of course I could do more of the flat twist, more of the updos, different styles like that. But the fact that I have one big huge one right here. And then this one is a huge one with, you know, some things hanging from it. It kind of limits me. So, I mean, I'm fine with that because I can still do, you know, if I wanted to pull them all up into like a ponytail or if I wanted to do like a, um, I wear them like my hats, different things, you know, like the, the beanie things, you know, I do that and... Do I wish that I could do more styles? Probably at times. Not, I'm not sitting up saying, oh, I wish I could do more styles. No, but sometimes when, you know, if I'm going somewhere fancy or something like that, I probably like, oh man, I wish I could do, but no, I can't. So, because, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm limited, which is fine with me. Do I think about it sometimes? Yes, I do, but I don't, you know, go crazy over it. But yeah, I just wanted to stop in and mention that. And of course, I'm sure when you all comment on the videos or ask me questions, I try to answer them as quick as I can. Okay, that's not the truth, as quick as I can. I try to get back with you on them. If you've asked me a question and I haven't responded, please ask it again. I apologize for not answering your question. Of course, if I don't know the answer, then I need to say, ooh, I don't know the answer. Let me get back with you. So once again, these are my locks. I am limited to the styles that I can do, but I can still do them, you know. So, but I'm still enjoying everything. I know I just came with a four month, four year lock update. Four years. Four years. Oh, I did four years, four months. So, here we go. This is what we have. Once again, like I said, I just ran water through them. And what I'm doing right now as far as cleaning them, no more shampoos, no more oils or anything like that. The only thing that I'm doing is I purchased a rosemary plant. And I rinse my hair with that. Boil about eight cups of water. Put one of the rosemary leaves in there. Let it steep for a little bit. Take it out. And then I need to go figure out where I can purchase me a big, huge bowl. I'm sure there's somewhere. Dollar Store probably has some. A big, huge bowl. Because what I do is I just recycle that water. As far as not recycle and drink it. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like um, when I bend my head over and I'm scooping with the cup, doing that. Scooping with the cup, doing that. Scooping. I'm, you know, just grabbing the water that just ran off. And just rinsing it that way instead of, um, and I need a big enough bowl to be able to scoop that out. You want to know what I've been using now? No, I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm just kidding. It's been my sink. It's been a bowl, but it's not big enough for my hair. So, but, and I do it in the kitchen. I just stand up in the chair over a sink. You know, like when you were a kid, your mom will be, okay, this video is just going all off the deep end. Okay. I stand up over the sink and just bend my head over and just do it that way. And I'm sure I can do it in the um, tub or whatever. I've done it in the bathroom floor also before I set out some towels. And then I set the bowl there and just did it that way. But that's it. Rinsing with the rosemary. 
and then just today just rinsing with water. I forgot to mention that the fact that I'm limited to my styles, please don't let that discourage you from freeforming if that's something that you've decided to do. Maybe you're the type of person that would like to not allow them to grow together that way and you kind of want to separate as you go. There's a whole deal out there. Am I still a free farmer? Am I semi, semi free farming? I didn't even mean, let me stop using the word free farming because to me, I'm not going to get into that either. That's just a lot. It's just a whole new thing. But if you no, no longer would like to tighten or palm roll your hair and you're just wanting it to grow and mat on its own, don't let me not being able to style because of these discourage you from doing that because you can still keep them separate and you can still do your styles and things like that. My girl QO Chemist have done a couple of styles where um, it looked like she had a, like a fresh retwist, but she was still able to give that illusion, illusion that there, it wasn't a fresh retwist. So, I mean, it's a lot of things that you can do. Like I said, I just wanted to pop back in and say, do not be discouraged. I don't want you to be discouraged thinking that, ooh, uh-uh, freeforming? No, I'm going to keep tightening my hair because you can't do anything once you, no, don't think that. So this is just the way that I decided to let my hair grow, and this is the result that I'm getting. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.